copy this and uh, put it my custom page and do some modification then this will be reflected there for example if I remove this and put it here you see uh, custom composite field is not here so it is better to also copy the reference of custom composite field for example here in the list field iterator rendering template is using composite field so if I also copy this and keep it here then you will see this uh, list field iterator is using by list form and then it is using composite field so if I remove the MS form body or M we, I will put MS form body to for example another class I will introduce this class in the CSS file okay so if I do something like this or I can put it here also ms dot header 2 let me check the exactly CSS has been used here for left or right then we can make it for only for this list template if you open uh, the in a sharpen designer and if you go to the CSS class for example if I go here in the theme folder in theme folder there is nothing if I go to let's uh, I have to change the theme here because uh, it is a default theme for example if I put a theme here set theme for example the this, this one and I will get some code for this for the applied theme then I can change uh, I can add another class for MS body for example if I go here and if I search by this if I also search by this okay we can use one of these for example if I put here text align right save and if I see the differences that is reflected or not okay so I will do the same thing with another class for example if you have a custom CSS class uh, with alternate name so now you can see that if I refresh this page this is left so now I will do it with the control template so if I 
put this in the uh, custom template is header 2 and save restart is close everything so now I will see the difference that it will be standard header 2 the class name will be standard header 2 for this template for this form which is overriding the existing one okay if I go now if I see the source sorry I made a spelling mistake it is not reflected maybe I have to check again the source code composite field I have to include some other field because may it is also dependent or some other field template for example I have to include also field property composite field display composite field because it is also depend on display composite field list editor two row composite field two row fields editor also for security I also uh, copy uh, property editor also okay if I put this in the my custom folder then it should work fine okay now I will put here the MS header 2 and also here well now I'm going to register the S again Okay, let's check again. Okay, it is changes, but uh, maybe the CSS is uh, doesn't get uh, the others changes because if you go to the here it is linked with other configuration but which is not available here so if you integrate the other um, properties of these classes this should work and if you go to the source code you should see the different class name which is comes from um, if it just comes from template here you see that MS header 2 ok this is uh, the end for first uh, part lesson of um, rendering uh, overriding control template and in the second lesson I will show you how to integrate it for a specific list or uh, of the specific web application thank you so much